Hey there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop, and today's video is going to show you some new tips for adding sky overlays quickly and easily. So this is the photo I'll use today, and the first thing that we're going to do is place our sky. So we're going to go to File, Place, and then you are ch you'll choose the sky that you'd like. This um, set is the MB Cinematic Skies, and I'm going to choose one of the sunset skies in this collection. I'm going to choose number 54, and then hit Place. And this pops the sky right up on your photo, and you'll notice it already has a little bounding box, so you can adjust this. I'm going to raise the bottom of the sky up near the horizon, and then lift the top up a little bit so the sky isn't too smushed. And then hit the check mark when you're finished. Oops, I think there's a little bit of white area over here. Let me see if I can. You can go to Edit Free Transform to bring the bounding box back up, and just stretch it to the edge so there's no little white space there. And then hit your check mark when you're done. Okay, so um, in this image, I'm going to hide the sky for a second. The mountains behind my subjects are all in focus, so I'm actually going to leave my sky um, in focus as well. If your background is blurred, I highly suggest blurring your sky as well to um, maintain believability. Just go to Filter, Blur, um, and choose your favorite method of blur um, to apply it to the sky. Now, in this case, I'm not going to do that, but um, just check your background on your photo. If it's blurry, blur the sky an equal amount so that it matches with the, the, blurry, the blurriness of the background. Sorry. Okay, so once you've got your sky on your photo, you're going to make sure that you come over here to where it says normal, and you're going to change this to multiply. And this will allow you to see your subjects through, um, and it, it helps blend the colors as well. Um, multiply is great blend mode for adding skies. So the next thing we're going to do is add a layer mask. And we're going to do that just by hitting this little box at the bottom. Um, it's the one with the rectangle and the circle inside, this little button here. Click that, and a layer mask will pop up on your photo. Now, from there, we are going to grab this tool right here, your gradient tool. You can um, pull that up by hitting G on your keyboard, or you can um, come over here and right-click on this button and find it. Your paint bucket tool might be showing. Um, if it is, just right-click on that button and grab your gradient tool. Um, for this, I'm going to make sure that my white color is on top, um, usually because I drag from the top to the bottom. It, you can play with that and adjust your colors if you do it wrong the first time. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start about halfway up the sky and pull down to about where my subjects are. And then you'll notice this kind of blends the sky in. Now you can do this several times if you want to see different effects here. Um, but skies outside naturally um, kind of fade toward the horizon anyway, so this is a great believable way to quickly add the sky into your photo. Um, and once you do this, you can always grab a, a soft brush and um, make sure that your color is set to white. My opacity is low at about 10%, and you can always paint a little more sky in here at the bottom if you want it to be just a little bit darker. And then that's it. Your sky has been added quickly and easily. Um, another tip that I wanted to show you is you can go to File Place and grab a new sky. And I'm going to grab a stormy sky this time. So, pick stormy sky 15 and place that. So, and then again, you'll just adjust this the same way you adjusted the other one, just pulling it in there, and then hit the check mark. Okay, and then I'm going to put this one in multiply blend mode. And you'll, your other sky is still showing below it, so you can turn that one off if you want to. Um, there's a little bit of white space along the top, so I'm just going to nudge that upwards to hide the white space. And edit free transform to make sure I stretch it long enough. There we go. Okay, so once you've done that, um, another fun trick is this is great for wanting to try out different skies and seeing which one looks best for your photo. Um, instead of having to do the layer mask all over again, what you can do is you can alt-click or option if you're on a Mac, alt-click this layer mask that you already um, adjusted on the other sky and drag it up to this new layer and it duplicates it and puts it on this one. So you don't have to try it twice, you can just use that same layer mask and try the sky several times. Um, now another thing you might want to do here, especially for prints, is to just zoom in and make sure that you paint with a black brush um, over your subjects just to double check that there's no sky left on them. Um, and just sweep over there a little bit and just make sure that there's none on them. That way if they print the canvas really big, there won't be like sky patterns in their faces or something like that. 
So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.